This reaction is brought to you by my $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash alexites. I'd like to thank Andreas Glacel, Big Chicken Time, Steph Newtown, Andrew Graff, at Hot Girl Video 69 on Twitter. B Jabber, Core Core, Jason Bates, Mark Ventura, Matthew McLaughlin, Richard, Will E, Robert Mackey, and Sam Gabshack for sponsoring this video, supporting me, my family, the channel. I appreciate it immensely, and I hope you all enjoy this video. Hello, everybody. Good morning to you. It is a nice, crisp 9.58 in the morning, in the fall. Perfect for some nice, very minimal, jazzy, Mark Hollis stuff. You know? So, uh, yeah, we just recently finished up all of the Talk Talk albums, finally done with that whole discography. Um, magnificent stuff. Really loved Color of Spring. Uh, time It's Time is one of my top five favorite Talk Talk songs. Uh, really great. Um, and now we're going to be moving forward into the post Talk Talk phase, post Laughing Stock. Um, with a, a self-titled album from none other than Mark Hollis himself. So uh, this should be quite interesting for sure. For those who don't know, I do unedited reactions on my Patreon, patreon.com slash alexheights. For $5 a month, you can get access to the entire catalog of unedited reactions from Modest Mouse going forward. That is April of 2021 that I started doing the unedited reactions. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I think we're, I can never tell because Patreon has always changed their, they always change their layouts. Um, collections, maybe 74 posts. Um, so about like 70 albums, give or take, uh, unedited. Uh, you can also hop in at the $1 per month level. Uh, and that gives you access to voting in polls that we do every two to four albums, um, break up the monotony of the artist binges, um, artist disc discography binges, and inject just a random miscellaneous album into the mix. Um, after this reaction, there will be a poll album coming up. So if you want to be able to vote in that poll, uh, go ahead and check out the Patreon. Also got a shout out NordVPN, uh, affiliate link in the description. Um, fantastic VPN, great speeds, great prices, um, access content from other parts of the world, and you know, all that good stuff a VPN can do. Um, been using them for years, so go check out the link in the description for NordVPN. Mark Hollis, the self-titled albumin from 98. Um, so laughing stock, like I said, we, we finished up all of the talk, talk albums. Um, I kind of listened to them in a weird order on this channel. Uh, I will put in the comp pinned comment below all the talk, talk stuff. And I will link this video with the talk, talk albums as well. Um, I, I did laughing stock first and then like a year or two later, I did spirit of Eden. And then just recently, as of these vi last several videos, I finally rounded out the other three Talk Talk albums, and now I'm doing this. So I've kind of gone all over the place as far as the chronology, but um, Laughing Stock, my favorite Talk Talk album by far, as is, you know, most people's. Um, beautiful, spiritual, transcendent, magnificent album. Love it to death. New Grass is one of the most beautiful songs I have ever heard. Uh, truly transcendental, amazing, otherworldly. And now, Mark Hollis, 98, seven years after uh, Talk Talk. Um, I don't know who, if anyone from Talk Talk was on this as well, or if it was just kind of his own passion project. Um, I, I don't know. You'll, you guys will have to let me know. I don't see... Uh, Tim, the producer on here. I don't recognize many other people here, so um, I don't know. Let me know if anyone from the Talk Talk era helped with this one, or if it was just kind of him trudging forward into a new direction. Um, but yeah, this is uh, apparently very sparse and minimal, just like Laughing Stock. Um, Hollis found inspiration not in the popular music of the day, but rather in 20th century classical music and jazz from the late 50s and 60s. Um, so I'll be curious to see, you know, all of the, the horn stuff here, um, see how that all pans out because, you know, there's elements of that for sure on Eden and Laughing Stock. So, um, I don't know, but, uh, the album did not mark a return for Hollis to the music industry. I, so I'm curious as to like, did he just have like a few tracks left? He wanted to kind of explore like why seven years after Laughing Stock, he's just like, Psh, 
little 46 minute album and then I'm done. Um, be very curious to, to see how that goes here. Uh, the album artwork is apparently uh, Easter bread in the shape of uh, the lamb. So that's interesting. Definitely got some more <clears throat> Christian uh, imagery here, New Jerusalem and all of that stuff. So I don't know, but uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and dive right on in, vibe out to this, listen, enjoy. Um, hopefully this won't be a pain in the butt to edit because it'll all sound the same, but you never know. Um, as far as like droney uh, jazz goes. But uh, anyway, let's start with the first track, The Color of Spring. Okay, I see it. I understand. Very sparse, very pretty. Um, yeah, there's a Mark Hollis quote that I really like that I've actually added to my Write Your Music profile. Um, I don't know when or why or how he said this, but um, before you play two notes, learn how to play one note. And don't play one note unless you've got a reason to play it. And I'm like, that's fantastic. I love that. And you can just definitely hear like all of that intention in in his music as as it goes forward. Like even as, like even in you know like such a shame. Uh, it's my life era. Um, they they were very intentional. Um, but like when you reduce and trim out so much of the music, like everything else really stands out. And I've talked about that before with um laughing stock where it's like you're in this heavenly void like looking for like any kind of like music and like oh i heard a note over there was that a note was that, was that sound um but yeah so this is this is off to a really nice start very um soft uh pastoral introspective nice okay uh watershed Fantastic stuff. Really dig it. Um, the very sparse guitar. Um, 
it, it's almost like someone took a very basic song formula and like stripped all the different notes and put them into like different different instruments because like the guitar is doing something very specific while the bass is kind of being the anchor and I don't know um and then the nice little jazzy breakdown in the middle there um fantastic if the rest of the album is like this then uh it's gonna it's gonna be a favorite for sure um I, I like the almost like slow core vibe to it as well it's just very slinky and kind of moving through very I guess I'm more of the that that post-rock element that first wave post-rock you know anyway uh inside looking out I like it. The the minimalistic compositions are like that one definitely had this kind of super introspective feel to it. Um man, this is like such mature music. Like this is serious music for people who like to be serious. Um and are willing to like just sit and listen and experience the art directly. And there's uh, like, there's something very mature and refined about being so sparse, I would say. Um, cool. Great. I just want to keep going. Uh, the gift. fascinating um definitely had more of like a groove to it because he had the very uh what are they called the brushes on the drums the toms something um and then the very uh moody bass kind of keeping you anchored to it that definitely felt more in line with like you know laughing stock-esque stuff uh cool yeah like, like i said just want to keep going want to keep experiencing this honestly there's not a lot to talk about because there's not a lot here uh, a life, 1895 to 1915. This is apparently about uh, Roland Leighton, um, a British poet who died as a young soldier in the First World War. 
uh, and then he became famous through his uh, fiance's memoir, Testament of Youth. So let's go. Hmm. Wow, definitely the most, um, uh, like, is this the longest one so far? It is. Eight, oh, a little over eight minutes. Definitely the most, I wouldn't say necessarily progressive, definitely had more of the uh, laughing stock jazz elements in it. Um, post-rock, more post-rocky, there you go, that's, that's, that's the term. Um, what have the artists said about the song? Mark Hollis says that was someone born before the turn of the century and dying within one year of the First World War at a young age. It's the expectation that must have been in existence at the turn of the century, the patriotism that must have existed at the start of the war, and the disillusionment that must have come immediately afterwards. It's the very severe mood swings that fascinated me. Interesting. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, I'm... I don't know. I, I tend to have a softer spot for things like Watershed and Inside Looking Out. Um, but I do very much appreciate and vibe with these kind of post-Rocky jazz things that were, you know, all over um, Eden and Laughingstock. So anyway, uh, Westward Bound. That's the stuff. That's it. Uh, so far, like wa Watershed, Inside Looking Out, and Westward Bound are my favorites, I think. Um, loved the timbre of that second guitar playing over the like lower one. Um, magnificent. Has that like Americana slow core vibe almost. 
Um, great stuff. Fantastic. Two tracks left, everyone. The Daily Planet is next. Not bad. Uh, was it the gift that also had the kind of washy brush percussion on it? Um, uh, kind of like a life. It's just like is long. Definitely, you know, something more for the people who like the last two Talk Talk albums, which I do. But there's something about tracks like Watershed Inside Looking Out and Westward Bound that like grab me more. Um, also like for, for someone who loves minimalism, like the, the harmonica was a lot <laughs> at times. I don't know. Um, certainly not bad, but like not as much to my taste as some other, uh, strains of this kind of music, I suppose, but there hasn't been a bad track yet. They've all been quite solid. Some I like more than others. So let's finish this out. A new Jerusalem. There's over a minute left. Is it just going to be quiet? Let's 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 just sit here and listen. What's going to happen? Secret track. It's like the opposite of A Day in the Life by the Beatles where they just increase the recording volume as it gets quieter. It's just going to end with like a little, a little chimey piano chord, isn't it? Let's see. How you guys doing? You doing good? I hope so. This has been an interesting listen. 49 seconds.
content. This is YouTube content. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds. And it's done. Like an, an exact amount of silence. Odd. Okay. Um, yeah, that one, much like Daily Planet in a Life, more in that laughing stock vibe. I think it's good, but I'm. Let's, 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 okay, let's back up, back up here. Talking about the album. Talking about the album as a whole. Uh,. So uh, for as much as I love Laughing Stock for a lot of reasons, listening to um, Color of Spring made me realize that there's a type of Talk Talk or Mark Hollis composition that I resonate with and like maybe a bit more. And that's the, I don't know, not as minimal, slightly more grounded, um, not as experimental jazz minimalist stuff such as i would say watershed inside looking out westward bound that i've mentioned already like five times um but like i loved time it's time off of the uh color of spring um and i would also say tracks such as april 5th and happiness is easy they they have a presence to them that's more present than Spirit of Eden or Laughing Stock or uh, this self-titled. Um, and I don't know, they just catch me a bit more. Um, and granted, these are more minimal than those, but like I, that's a nice sweet spot for me, I've found. So yeah, this was very good. Very good, very solid, um, very sparse, very mature. Um, just set of eight tracks and then he's done. And he's just, he just calls it there. Um, but yeah, I, I liked some of the tensions on here. Um, I will say that I think the minimalistic element of it wore on me a little bit as I listened on, but, um, could just be listening fatigue. I don't know. Sometimes I just get kind of tired of listening to music in one go sitting here talking about it. It's tiring for the brain. Um, but I'll be curious to see how these sit with me and kind of, you know, there's, that's the, the thing about the last two Talk Talk albums, and I think this is going to have it as well, is that the music just kind of like soaks into you and you kind of reflect on life and look at your surroundings through the lens of that music as you've, you've listened to it recently. Um, and I could see that happening with this. So stay tuned for the follow-up to, uh, to see how I, I feel about that. But yeah, Fantastic album, uh, some really great tracks here, great production as always, uh, Mark Hollis apparently produced this himself, so good on you man, rest in peace, hope I get to meet you one day, um, but yeah, nice nice way to close this all out, um, beautiful music, fantastic. Okay everybody, that's it, that's all we got today, um, like I said, we have a poll coming up soon, um, and all that chamber jazz. Things to plug, patreon.com slash alexheights. Five dollars a month access to unedited reactions of which this is one, and also dollar a month access to voting in polls, which we will have one soon. Uh, also gotta shout out the Discord, link in the description for that. Got about 170, 180 members over there. Um, people chatting about various things. I'll post, you know, if I'm streaming uh, announcements, I post links to these reactions, uh, like early access, if I'm able to get them up on YouTube without any copyright issues. So uh, if you wanna join the community of people who like to watch me hear things, that's where you do it. That's it, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Finally got my batch of uh, follow-ups coming out. So as you can tell, uh, it took me long enough. I had like six <laughs> I had to get up. Um, but yeah, uh, so next up, after the, um, after the poll album, we got Chameleons, guys. Isn't that exciting? We're finally getting to Script of the Bridge. Um, that'll be a big album for sure. 
Um, and then what does it, what does anything mean basically in strange times? So yeah, very excited to, to get into the stuff we have coming up on, on the horizon should be a lot of fun. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, Godspeed. <laughs>